everything I steal, mostly I sell. I have people who send me out with lists, body washes, detergents, household products, and I go and steal that stuff for them and then sell it to them for half price. I have it like a job, basically. In California, they have a law. They cannot touch you once you're out the store. And it's not considered stealing until you're through the door. So they really can't fuck with you either way. The stores that are the easiest to hit are the grocery stores. I just walk right out the front door with the whole cart full of stuff and I'll take an old receipt and I'll just cover the top of it with my two fingers like this and flash it as I'm going out the door. Three times, I shit you not, three times I have had people from the store come out with me and help me pack my car filled with it and it was stolen. Makes me look totally innocent. Oh my gosh, the self-checkout is a... What were they thinking? That we weren't gonna rob them? YouTube, you can learn so much on. I know how to take every beeping thing off of anything that there is. You don't need a special tool for it, actually. You can do it with a magnet. I've gotten to the level now where I've got keys to the kiosks to get out the playstations, the phones, all of that kind of stuff. I've stolen stuff that you wouldn't believe. I go for the most high-end, top-of-the-class Gucci and Armani and Prada and all I do is I dress really nice. I change my whole persona, make myself look like a total Karen that's got tons of credit cards in my purse ready to spend. To hit the nicest stores I need a partner to distract maybe two three partners to distract my partner will make a scene and I'll grab whatever real fast and run out the store by falling on the floor the glass broke and she'll break the glass screaming did she got bit by something or you know making a scene so they won't notice till I'm very gone that the most expensive piece in their store is missing that would only be if we were going for their most expensive thing in there and it was really profitable because them types of shops like my home girl has been caught in one and they literally have their own jail in the back of the store where they handcuff you to the seat till the cops get there and they take you to jail straight from the store they really press charges on you and oh. I perfect the way to get away with it by not making eye contact with people in the store. I don't feel like I'm gonna get caught so I don't get scared. When you get scared, they can tell on you because you're like all looking around and shit, you know? If you just, you're not thinking about it, nonchalant, fuck them, they don't know what I'm doing. I'm very slick, very slick, very, very slick. I've been caught probably about six times. The last time I got caught was about four months here in Vegas in the Spanish stores. Them Spanish people be watching you. I'm not prejudiced at all in no way shape or form but them Mexicans in the stores they watch you. They caught me stealing a can of soda. Stupid can of soda. When he approached me I straight denied it. I had this before I came here. This is mine. You can't prove it's yours. If you touch me I'm gonna sue you. He didn't give me no ticket or anything. Just said don't come back to my store. I'm very confident because I've done it for so long. Just go get what you want, walk out the door. It's a lot easier for a woman because we have purses. They can't tell me I can't take my purse in the store and it fits tons of shit in it. So it's just, I've always made a living off of it and I don't know how to make a living no way other but that. I had a job when I was 16 and um, Bob Evans as a hostess for six months, I got fired because I used to steal money from the register. <laughs> I would always help the manager tally it up at night so I would confuse him and flirt with him and, and he wouldn't know but then he caught on eventually and he fired me. I'm trying to get out of this now. I'm even going to classes for um, kleptomania. How to control your cravings to steal. How to remember that you don't always need everything and the groups that I go to now, they help a lot.